What's going on guys? Welcome to what is basically a Throwback Thursday Shoki Retro looking at my childhood toys review. Now this is not something I can do very often, but uh, the fact that I unboxed this lovely Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad stuff not long ago, it's kind of cool. So I can actually look at this. So we have my original good old Servo. This is of course the deluxe set. So there's my Servo. And then, uh, by the way, we will look at the Drago set later. But for now, we're going to look at Tracto, Boar, and Vitor. Or v Vitor. I think it's Vitor. But, and then uh, we're going to do both uh, Synchro and Xenon. So we're going to do all the things of this whole set. And it's mostly complete. I'm missing a few things here and there. Sadly, I'm missing like his uh wrist mounted thingy his swords and shield and all that those are all long gone unfortunately but for the most part let's go ahead and look at servo so one thing that always sucked about these is that we never didn't get the light up sound version but we got it to where there's you know holes in here and thing there and clear head and even on the backpack as you can see i attempted to get this open repeatedly and there was no way to do it i tried prying it open Nothing. Couldn't get it. One thing I never tried to do was actually open the whole thing. It'd be really cool to actually get one of the old school, actual deluxe things from Japan. I think that'd be badass. Now there are stickers. I think this is a sticker. Feels like one. This is paint. The yellow bits are definitely stickers, and you had to put them on, and it was crap. The fact that I have any still on here is pretty well impressive, if I'm honest. And of course you get some old school actual Shoki house dust. The head does rotate, though it's super tight. Doesn't do much else. Arms can go all the way around. You can see paint is chipped off from use over the years. You can come out to 90 degrees. That's pretty good. Uh, don't believe no bicep rotation. If there was, it would have been right here. But if I remember correctly, there wasn't any. But Oh, wow, no, I was wrong. There's bicep rotation. Maybe I never knew that. I'm going to be honest with you. And then we have single jointed elbow that's super tight just due to funk and gunk. And you can see paint is sort of wearing. And then you got some ew, gross. And then the wrist can rotate because depending on how you want to hold stuff, you know, you can do that. I think I just forgot that the arms could rotate. I know the legs can't, at least at the hips, which can kick forward and go back. A little bit, you do get a single jointed knee. The one thing, oh yeah, you do get thigh rotation. I'm gonna be honest, didn't remember that. And you get super stiff ankles and mounting holes for things, plugs on the back of the, th the calves for plugging things in. Good Lord, what is that exposure? Look at that. That's the wrong way. There we go, that's a little bit better. Still playing with the camera settings, trying to figure out the optimal way to do this. I'm amazed that the blue paint is still holding out fairly good. You can see just over the silver, but that's servo. So let's look at the other things. So boar was probably my favorite because it is just a cool big twin drill thingy. Plus it has all the chrome. Uh, the drills can rotate a little bit and they have these red thingies that are not missiles which is kind of sad and most of the stickers are still stuck on this guy along with all of this incredibly gross dust i'm gonna have to wash my hands after this you do get wheels so this one is a little jacked up can he roll yeah he can still roll nice and i don't know something about this one always spoke to me i, I just dug it you got orange plastic dual blue stickers green for the cockpit area red ish stripes here bright orange here back here on the back tank treads but no no paint or anything on there so that's pretty cool and yeah not a lot going on there but it's good it's good enough a little gap there i feel like something should have been there i'm trying to remember i don't think they had like a combined mode for the vehicles i think like i mean like in vehicle form i know they do the whole thing where they turn into a xenon but i don't think like as vehicles they combined in any way that i can recall um but i'm just seeing this big gap back there it's still gross all right next up we'll look at tracto or camera down make my life a little easier and yeah it's a big like tank thing and it does have wheels but i doubt it'll really roll it'll probably just slide yep 
Most of the stickers are still on him. They can see some of them are really worn off, especially the ones that have to be where things need to move. Very dusty. You know, you got all your tank treads on here, your big orange plastic bits, blue bits here. You do have the guns that can turn and fire. Not actually. And the uh, one that always had a problem. Never wanted to stay stuck on. So that sucks. Uh, it would be cool to get a, a repro label set for these. You know, get them cleaned up. And, you know, considering these are nearly complete, it probably wouldn't take a whole lot to get them clean. Um, I didn't really point out, you know, Xena, or uh, Servo's got a little bit of yellowing, but not too bad. I'm going to assume that's from smoke, because it ain't from sun. And same thing with this guy, just the years of my mom smoking in the house, which is probably also why this dirt is so gunky as well. So that's it for Tracto. And then Vitor, the jet. So, you know, depending on which one they had, you know, they had this as a jet and then they had the two Drago halves. And this is him kind of in the landing mode. So you put these things down and then you got landing gear up front, which is pretty cool. Lower this down just a little bit. And once again, most of the stickers still intact. Most are chrome. Not terrible. A little oxidized, but not bad. You know, green cockpit sticker there, these bits here. Uh, also very Star Saber-esque, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, and then I guess you push these up a little bit for kind of a split wing look. Now, this thing is like so much of a transformer, it's a little, a little ridiculous. I really should have cleaned it up a little bit. But you know what? That's what authenticity is for. However, I am missing this piece. I know it broke in half on me, and I did everything in my power to glue it together and repaint it. It was like half gold chrome, half yellow paint. It looked like ass. If I could replace just that horn part, that would be awesome. Actually, you got some yellow paint right there. That's kind of funny. All right, so that's it for the vehicle. So let's go ahead and get them all combined up. So let's take them into the Xenon mode. So let's flip the guns down. We'll take this guy oh that's what that's for go ahead and plug the drills into there and we're going to flip this up All right i have it backwards oh i'm doing it backwards i forgot i'm gonna go down not up so go down with it oh you gotta break the feet loose you want to go down and you want to flip the blue section around so the black is facing forward flip the toes up i know a lot of you went no you're going the wrong way i, I remember it okay you know how long it's been like 20 years since i've even touched this toy so fold the tank treads in fold this down and squeeze in theory it should there we go Okay, and get the guns pointed down. That stays vertical. And there's sort of a Diaclone reboot version of this guy. Uh, now they're doing weird um, Gridman Diaclone crossover thing. All right, so let's pop this down. Flip up the head. Come down here, pop this gray piece off. Pop that gray piece off. Flip that back. Arms down, spin forward, down, spin forward, close up the wingtip, close up the wingtip. You can go ahead and put the not Optimus Prime head down. He definitely looks like it could be straight out of Transformers, let's just be honest here. We'll flip the fists around on both sides, at least try to. This one might be a bit froze up there we go just had to get it to break loose uh what else do we need i think we're going to bring this in and it's got a couple pegs it's got a couple pegs inside there that will plug into the top of this like so and then you want to push the arms in that clips into the side, you link the arm down. Go ahead and bring this in. 
like so. So I feel like this should have been 180. Am I right? I think so. Yeah, hold on. I think I got that. I do think that this needs to be this way. Seems to make a little bit more sense. Clip that in. And I think, yeah, you're supposed to bring this down on the double hinge and sort of rest that in there. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. You do anything with these? I don't remember. So just kind of close up. Because uh, hmm. I know this would come around like that, but that's not, no. That's for other combined mode. I don't think anything else kind of happens. Am I wrong? I don't recall. I feel like I'm going to have to look up pictures. Double check how that works out. But, I mean, essentially, that's Xenon as you go. And if you're brave, you could split the legs. But then the whole thing sort of kind of comes apart. So just leave the legs together. Yeah. That's that. I do think, I feel like that has a different purpose. But yeah, this wasn't going to snug down until that was out of the way, so that's correct. So there. He's pretty cool. The head rotates and stuff. Obviously, a lot of light piping back there. Looks like a prime. Yay for arms. No elbows, no rotation. You know, it, it wasn't meant to do a lot if we're honest with ourselves. And I guess, in theory, no, I was gonna say you could probably plug those in there, but no. So, there we go. That's Xenon combined form. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot, if I remember correctly. They didn't use him that often. They mostly just went to the combined mode with uh, Servo to make uh, Synchro. I had to look up the names because I completely did not remember that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. So let's disassemble. Disassemble. Go ahead and pull that off. And pull that off. And then, of course, Tracto is the easiest one because you're just going to pull it back apart. These super old clips. Kind of hard to... Get. There we go. Okay, and then we want to flip these back around, basically putting them back into this tracto mode. And then we'll bring in servo. And then toeses we'll plug in right there. We want those up. We'll flip this up. And then it's got post that will plug into the back of the calves, if you're lucky. Come on. It's like slightly out of alignment. There we go. And then you want to close up the tracks on the side. Give it a good squeeze. And then you kind of use the guns to come up here and clip it shut, which is why that sticker never wants to stay. This one you can go ahead and separate so that you have both legs. And then for bore, comes in, breaks in half. Okay, so that'll come off of there. If I remember correctly, these just, yeah. That mushroom peg was just in there. All right, so this will be right arm, flip it open. Split it open, flip that open, split it open. Shoulders, very simply, 
flip around. Flip around. Big old, big old drill shoulders. And we'll come back up again. Again. And I believe you plug his hands into here. If I remember correctly. Which hand do I got? Oh, I got the wrong one. My bad. Turn that way. Yeah. So, come in, plug into the fist, clip that on, and then that's kind of an elbow thingy, which is neat in and of itself. Flip that around, clip that in, like so. Shoulders, come on down. Which, you know, they, they clip on very nicely. Once again, filthy. All right, so back to this guy. Bring the head up. I think you just want to put that essentially back the way it was. That's going to be the backpack anyways. So if I remember correctly, fold the fist up like this. Fist in, arm in, hand in. Flip all this up like so. This little bit I whack. It's okay. And then fold this up, pegging that together. This is the easy one. Fold the gray parts down. And then you've got that whole thing. You want to just drape it over the servo head. And there's not a lot to connect to the back. But you want to do, you want to come around here. A couple posts that will plug into his hips. And that's vital. You, you want that to plug into his hips. And then you come to the back. And you got that side, this side clipped together. And then you clip all of that together to make the backpack. And big explosions and, and such. And you've got synchro. got to be careful because that like bumps, <laughs> that bumps a lot. So there we go. And frankly, he's very back heavy and those hips don't really want to hold him up much anymore. But that's, that's freaking cool. Look at that. Let me get a picture. That's awesome. Like, and the gold chrome is still holding up pretty good like that. What, baby? I'm filming. What's up? Why? Oh, that sucks. So like I was saying, the uh, side chrome looked pretty good. This chrome still holds up pretty good. Got the side plastics here. I believe you could plug the swords into the side here. I don't remember. He does have a hand, so he could hold one version of the sword or another. I'm trying to remember, was there an axe? Because I remember, like, the guard of the sword could change. So maybe it had an axe for him at one point. But this one, I think, was always my favorite. Something about the color scheme always works for me. Like, Drago and that version is pretty neat. And we'll look at that next Thursday. Um, and that has a lot of uh, cool aspects in and of itself, but this one is just freaking cool. And I believe there was a Super Mini Pla set, and I missed it, and that sucks. But this thing does look fantastic. But guys, let me know, did you have this, or any of these growing up? And, you know, with all of the reboots and things coming out, we should get these again. And I really wish I could get the mini plus. The, they just sell out so quick that I can't ever get a hold of anything. And I guess you could get some posing going. It's not 100% useless. You can get a little bit. Like, seriously, I don't know that I ever knew there was a thigh rotation. I mean, like, he doesn't have ankle tilt or anything like that. And the head is 100% fixed. So not much you could do there for the most part. But 
that's going to be it for this throwback Thursday or this retro review. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember, as always, keep on nerding. <laughs>